Good evening. <coughs> this is Maestro Cretello with the Dawn of War 2 Retribution Elite Modcast. Today we have a 2v2 on Ashes of Typhon. You actually don't see that often as a 2v2 map very often. But our first player right here is Dullahan as this Blood Ravens tech marine. Can't really get a good look at him. At him. I don't really... Oh, he's not Blood Ravens, but I don't really like it when the camera doesn't allow you to get a good look at the, the hero. Uh, it actually seems to be evening out a bit, but the Tech Marine is a ranged space marine, can repair, build structures, synergizes very well with vehicles, and he has a gun for every occasion. His teammate is Grunk, who is the one who submitted this replay, uh, playing as the Eldar Farseer, a support hero who buffs her own units as well as debuffing enemy units. Kind of unique in that she's not quite a true melee hero, uh, not really a ranged hero either, one of the few like that. On the other team, first we have DJ Rafa as this Plague Champion. The Plague Champion starts off as a ranged hero, can be changed to a melee hero, uh, can heal, and also can build turrets and support structures and vehicles very well. And his teammate is none other than the War Boss of Dawn of War 2. This is Holy Hammer X, Holy Hammer X, playing as this new war boss in the Elite Mod. Now with that bionic eye, he's also wearing a truck on his back. And that's Holy Hammer, the man who needs no introduction, but I give him one anyway. The war boss of Dawn of War 2 right now is chasing down these Dire Avengers, but the Dire Avengers do quite a bit of DPS, so they are doing a pretty good job of focusing, firing that, focus firing that war boss. War boss is still chasing after them. Wonder if he might get a model on these Dire Avengers. He does. Did he get a model there? Some something will happen there. But he is chasing them down at this point. Oh, he is leading his leading those Dire Avengers into a bit of a slug a trap. Uh, but the war boss will probably have to go soon. Oh, that war boss definitely does not want to stick around with these Howling Banshees. About to chase. I think if those Howling Banshees attack the war boss, they may still even wipe the war boss. But he's going. For, it looks like he's going for the sluggers instead. All right, on this side. Uh, we have the Space Marines, Dullahan's Tech, tech Marine, uh, his Tech Marine Force, uh, actually getting pushed back by the Plague Champion from DJ Rafa. DJ Rafa does go for a double cast Space Marine build, not quite as common as a double Heretic build, a little more expensive, costs a lot of requisition, uh, does delay your ability to put down power generators. Uh, for a build that's not necessarily better, but it can still do some some good things. Um, we do have one of the things about the Tech Marine though is that the Tech Marine uh, starting builds for the Tech Marine actually have a lot of range DPS and ho uh, heretics tend to get focused down on approach and die. Uh, there are times I mean I've I've lost entire heretic squads purely to ranged fire against the Tech Marine uh, since not only. He's got, obviously he's got the tax and the scout's doing range damage, and then he does really good range damage too, especially now with the Mastercrafted Bolter going to increase his damage. Uh, also gives him a suppression shot ability, high power shot actually, that suppresses uh, and will kill, we usually kill a single model. It will kill a single scout model or a single heretic model. It will also suppress them, so it's good as a melee counter. Uh, the war boss right here does upgrade to Angry Bits. That's such a good war gear in the mod, and it's probably a good war gear period. Um, gives the war boss a charge. Also increases his health regeneration. I don't know if it always did that, but it's something that I almost wonder, like, should it even be that way? Because it seems to basically restore the war boss's health when he uses it. Uh, right here, the war boss. Getting some better health regeneration. Uh, does allow him to just get in straight against, get in right against those dire avengers. And they fleet a foot out of there. Our allies have failed to protect one so over right here, it looks like, let's see, uh, DJ Rafa getting pushed back a little bit, but he's bringing these noise marines out on the field to deal with that, that space marine range bot from Dullahan. Now also includes a devastator marine squad. Uh, these noise marines actually got suppressed by the high-powered shot, and then they were going to be hit by the devastator marines, but they do uh, attack the devastator marines. And when Noise Marines attack, they actually prevent units from firing their range, ranged weapons or using abilities. Uh, the Tech Marine does go down, although losing a hero in teams is not as bad as losing a hero in, in 1v1, since your teammate can revive your hero. Although there, the Tech Marine was a little far ahead, and I think Dullahan just bought him back. 
All right, Devastator Mar Marines right here. They were suppressing those Slugger Boys, but the Slugger Boys eventually just retreat out of there. We have another suppression team, this time from Grunk. So uh, both players on the blue team have a suppression team. These Devastators and this Guardian Weapon team. Uh, the Guardian Weapon team actually losing a bit of health, getting hit by the damage over time from that Plague Champion. But the Plague Champion does eventually have to get out of there. And it looks like uh, DJ Raffle was trying to go for a little bit of a gen bash. I'm guessing maybe got one generator off here. But he was just bashing with these heretics. Heretics do not have an aspiring champion. And Blue is about to get a 3 cap. Uh, I think they've had some... I think they've been doing well because they have these suppression teams. Uh, helping them with control. And especially, uh, neither player on the red team has a jump unit. They can buy a jump unit, but neither one has. Uh, they also... So they're, they're mainly going to be relying on flanks to deal with any suppression teams. Uh, or DJ Rafa can also use his Noise Marines a little bit. And I think the effect is that uh, the blue team right now has a 3-cap. They have overwhelming map control. Uh, although right here, I think the Devastator... I, th I thought that Devastator squad was going to get flanked. It uh, looks like the Devastator was focusing on one Slugger Boy squad. Uh, and then I think... Holy Hammer was trying to split his heretics so that the other one could could flank that that Devastator team, but uh, the original have the original Sluggo was that was getting shot had to retreat, and then that Devastator just opened fire on the second her uh, Sluggo squad, having a ton of trouble with words. Uh, Bash going down with these double dire Avengers doing pretty good range DPS. I think the Devastator might want to change firing arcs. Chaos Space Marines right here shooting at these. Tactical Marines that are not in cover, but they do get hit by the high-powered shot of the Tech Marine, does suppress them, and now this is a fight for those Chaos Space Marines. So that, that high-powered shot, uh, usually not that typical of a choice against Chaos. Uh, the Plasma Gun is usually going to be a better choice, because it'll just be ridiculous uh, once the Tech Marine gets that. But, I mean, the Mastercrafted Bolt is still very good. And a full Gen Bash from the blue team. Uh, on this one power farm. Maybe they'll even get another one on this power farm. Uh, maybe, you know, may, I mean, what can they use? Looks like Holy Hammer does get a war truck uh, that will allow him to deal with these with these suppression teams. I was going to say, I wonder if either of them, either of the players on the red team could afford to get a jump unit. Uh, either some Raptors or some Storm Boys. Uh, Storm Boys especially against the Devastators would could stand a chance to wipe the Devastators even just on a single jump, which is part of what's so good about Storm Boys. Razorback out for Dullahan. Dullahan told me that he does not like to get the extra armor on the Razorback. Red Rupee does, Dullahan doesn't. Uh, so let's see if Dullahan can keep this Razorback alive. Not too much AV on the field from the, the red team, but Chaos... Chaos Dreadnought. DJ Rafa just bought a Chaos Dreadnought, which is going to do some AB to start out with the Assault Cannon, and he is also upgrading to the Mark of Zinch. That will do extremely well against the Razorback. Uh, that Mark of Zinch missile launcher just does a ton of damage. Dullahan says he's going to kill the truck. I'm not sure how he plans to do it. I'm guessing maybe he has... He's got a missile launcher tactical marine squad uh, inside, inside the Razorback. But now the truck is in a bad position. Uh, the uh, war boss has to retreat, and that tactical marine squad uh, is is opening fire. So, so some pretty good Razorback play from Dullahan. <laughs> Infiltrated scouts are backcapping this this requisition point right in front of Holy Hammer's base. Uh, but now that Razorback is in a lot of trouble, taking the Zinch missile fire, and that Zinch missile launcher does a ton of damage. Gonna, now does only 50% fire on the move, but it's still. Uh, it's still uh, very high DPS, and that's actually going to be a dead Razorback. Maybe should have bought extra armor. Um, although, as it is... Ooh, wow, look at... Did you see that Sonic Blaster shot? Almost wiping that noise... That Devastator Marine squad. Uh, I was about to say that the Chaos Dreadnought was in a lot of trouble. Taking the missile launcher shots from the, from the attack squad. As well as taking those Laz Cannon Devastator shots. But now this Noise Cannon... This uh, Sonic Blaster Noise Marine... Uh, did a ton of damage to that Devastator squad. And I think, I mean, the noise, the Sonic Blaster is actually, the Blastmaster, as it's actually really called, the, that Blastmaster is actually really good. Um, it's basically a Plasma Cannon. Plasma Cannons are really good. 
Uh, and it, Plasma Cannon does do bonus damage against Heavy Infantry. Right now, it's actually... it's The victory points have been really one-sided in favor of the blue team. And the War Boss goes down. Now, the Wraith Lord out from Grunk and a Noise uh, Sonic. A Blastmaster shot knocks over those Dire Avengers as well as those... Those Banshees taking some more shots from it will actually do damage to the Wraith Lord if he can hit the Wraith Lord. And it's the red team is running out of time to do something. I, I feel like at least one of the players on the red team could really afford to get uh, a jump unit. Not that it's absolutely necessary, but it would still just be very good. Uh, this uh, this Heretic Squad in a lot of trouble, but so is that Devastator Marine Squad. Just taking shots from this uh, this Zinch Chaos Space Marine Squad. Zinch Chaos Space Marines are just really great against everything, and especially against power armor. Uh, and they just wiped that, that Devastator Squad. Even this Tax Squad almost died, although that was probably from also taking some uh, Sonic Blastmaster shots. Uh, over here, the... Uh, the Farseer is actually down. Looks like she was upgraded to have the Singing Spear and an Autark call in now from Grunk. Ooh, and this this War Truck needs to micro. And that's going to be bad news uh, for this Luda squad. Luda, beamy death gun Luda as a vehicle counter for this Wraith Lord. It needs to actually set up the Luda. Set up the Luda. We'll get another shot off on this Wraith Lord. We'll take the Wraith Lord down to 200 health. If you can get one more shot on that Wraith Lord, that will be the end of that Wraith Lord. And there goes that Wraith Lord. So dead Wraith Lord for Holy Hammer. I mean, not for Grunk. So some big losses now for the players on the blue team. But they've got 460 VPs to two. And that the noise, the noise Marines, I don't want them to die. They've been doing such a good job. Something's going to drop right here. Two cap for... for Oh, the Noise Marines are done. Uh, DJ Rafa just kind of letting this Librarian run a train on all these Chaos units. Uh, will he at least wipe the Librarian? No, he won't. DJ Rafa just kind of let that Librarian run all over his units. That was apparently just a drop pod. Double Sniper Scouts uh, bleeding this, this Zinch Chaos Space Marine squad down to only one model and DJ Rafa does not have the resource to even reinforce those to even reinforce those uh those Zinch Chaos Space Marines and meanwhile Dullahan has a new Razorback this one does not have armor and it's not looking good for DJ Rafa right here it looks like Holy Hammer has been managing to push back has a two cap on these victory points can't afford to let any of that drop and now it looks like the Looks like the blue team is actually doubling this this north victory point. And will that that tech marine should actually go down. He goes back in the Razorback, but the Razorback goes out of the control. And the tech marine goes down. This war truck in a lot of trouble too. Needs to watch out for that uh, Farseer with the singing spear. Also has rune armor and spirit stones. That Farseer will go down. Alright, looks like... Ooh, I thought Grunk was going to go for... Was oh, and the war boss goes down. I thought Grunk was gonna go for a cap here, and he may still go for a cap. Dullhan is actually saying just decap the victory point with the Autark, and apparently he just wants to. He thinks that'll just win the game. Uh, this war truck with only 34 health will go down to the Howling Banshees if if Holy Hammer is not careful. Luckily, the Banshees get overwhelmed by two Slugger squads, uh, and that just barely kept the war truck alive. The Sluggas need to repair that war truck. And that's going to be a dead war truck if that... The Tech Marine just needs to get one shot off. The Autar could just hit the war truck and kill it. This war truck surviving with so little health. DJ Rafa does finally manage to get some resources to reinforce his Chaos Space Marines. Uh, but I think he's having trouble with Chaos Space Marines. Double Chaos Space Marines being heavy on his upkeep. Hasn't, and, and also the reinforcements of having them constantly bleed from these snipers means he's been having trouble getting anything uh, else aside from what he has right now. Dullahan now going for a Dreadnought after losing two Razorbacks. So Drunk, Grunk manages to force off 
uh, some of Holy Hammer's units using that Psychic Storm ability that now comes with the Rune Armor in the Elite Mod. DJ Rafa bashing generators, bashing generators at this point. I mean, I don't think the power income is going to manage that much, but he does almost have enough red to do an Imperial Abyss for whatever that's going to be worth. Um, but these Zinchcast Space Marines have been having a little bit of trouble getting hit by Sniper Scouts. It's actually somewhat nullifying the effect of this uh, Chaos Shrine of Nurgle, which can heal and reinforce. But, I mean, look. Wow. The Chaos Space Marines take two more model losses. This Chaos Space Marine squad is in a lot of trouble. Dread soon, Dullahan. Soon, Dullahan will have a Dread. Uh, these double sluggers here are actually doing pretty well for Holy Hammer. Well, they are both level 2. Horoboss is sadly down. DJ Rafa's Plague Champion is at level 4 with no upgrades whatsoever. The Tech Marine switched out the Mastercrafted Bolter with, for the Melting Gun, which we've already seen, basically just as some extra AV. Uh, Dullahan might have a little trouble with this Dreadnought. Uh, the Dreadnought will definitely take missile damage uh, from the from the Chaos Dreadnought on approach. That Chaos Dreadnought is getting way too close. Wants to stay as far away from the Space Marine Dreadnought at, as far away as it can. Uh, DJ Rafa, oh, he does not have enough red to throw down an Imperial Abyss. He may want to consider doing that to keep this cap. Otherwise, this these victory points will go in favor. Oh, that's going to be a dead Chaos Dreadnought. And DJ Rafa now has enough red to do an Imperial Abyss. He does lose his Dreadnought as well as that Chaos Shrine of Nurgle. I think it's mostly been Holy Hammer holding these two victory points that's keeping... Basically, that's keeping the, the red team in this game. DJ Rafa now just has Chaos Space Marines and Heretics. That's not going to be enough. Certainly not going to be enough to deal with uh, the Dreadnought. It's certainly not going to be enough to deal with two Dreadnoughts. So... I don't see DJ Rafa being able to do much about this. If he does a nice Imperial Abyss, maybe he can wipe most of uh, most of Dullahan's infantry units, and then then Dullahan just won't be able to cap because he'll only have vehicles. Uh, we actually now have knobs from Holy Hammer. Those knobs are really good. Knobs are really good. Uh, right now, these knobs they do have their huge hammers. They do have frenzy, which means meaner and greener. Um, but they do not have their knob. The knob knob. Uh, they will do pretty well in this entire fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure even with Banshees doing crazy power melee damage, knobs are still just better. Especially with these hammers uh, charging up uh, over here. We do have one of these Dreadnoughts is now an Assault Cannon Dreadnought doing really good, going to be doing good range damage. The Plague Champion does upgrade to the Plague Fist. But again, he needs to do something about this Librarian because the red team really can't afford much of anything in terms of uh, victory points. And this this Plague Champion, although this Plague Champion is probably dead. Yes, he is. So not a great play from DJ Rafa. I mean, he got the Power Fist because he needed some kind of AV. Did not have enough money to buy basically any units so he just got the he just got war gear uh, but a melee hero is generally just not good enough against the dreadnought uh, because although heavy melee weapons are considered anti-vehicle they actually only do half damage to vehicle meanwhile those vehicles are going to be doing full damage uh, to heroes because they do heavy melee and heavy melee I believe does full damage to heroes uh, look, we do have a looted tank for Holy Hammer. Holy Hammer may want to start committing his knobs over here. He does have to worry a lot about getting his points capped because he can't afford to lose any of his VPs. Uh, but his knobs are going to be really important for, I think, for for dealing with these dealing with these dreadnoughts. He may also want to consider getting the power claw uh, on his, and that might be the end of the game right here. Uh, the I think the only chance they have taking uh stopping this farseer from capping oh that looks like it's going to be the end of the game yes it is i think the only chance right there and the farseer nearly dies only chance would have actually been for uh dj rafa to use his imperial abyss right there and it seems like such a waste to use your imperial abyss on one on a hero and just a hero but i mean he needed something uh and as it is they lost that game Hope you enjoyed in any case. Have a good night.